me, but but you can talk to me anyway. So it's 10 divided by 0 0.25. We're doing a divide decimals review here, okay? Like a bit of a brush up. So what this means is this is $10, okay? Divided by 0 0.25. It's how many quarters are contained inside of $10. Here's $10, see that? That's what it means, okay? $10. Um, and uh, how many quarters are contained in that, right? So just tell me what the answer is. Take your time and figure it out. Without calculate, just like think about it. I wonder how, how many quarters do you think are in $10? Yeah, what do you, uh, do we all agree with that? Okay, it's 40, right? So we all agree it's 40. Okay, so we know the answer should be 40. So that should help us understand why we do our steps with dividing, because this would look like, write this down, it's also 10 over 0 0.25. That's another way of writing that, isn't it? We can write it this way. Can you write that down? Yeah. And it's also 0 0.25 into 10. So there's like three ways of writing the same division. Are we all clear on that? Okay. Okay. And the answer should be 40. We all agree on that, right? So the problem is we can't rightly just divide if, if the divisor has a decimal in it. So we have to move that decimal point over until we get this to be a whole number. So we're going to go move this over one, two spots. Yes. Well, if you went, okay, good question. Why do you go right instead of left? Okay, write this down, 0 0.25. If you went this way, what would happen? You would end up with like 0 0.00025 or some crazy thing. Does that make sense? So that makes it even worse. Now we've got an even worse decimal, right? So that's why we go to the right, because we want to turn this into a whole number. Okay? Now we can't just do 25 into 10. That would obviously be wrong. 25 into 10 is not, is not going to give us the answer 40. We know the answer should be 40, because there's 40 quarters in a dollar, in, in $10, right? So we know the answer should be 40. I mean, this isn't going to work, right? So how do we make sure the, our answer is actually 40? The thing is, the reason we have to move this one, by the way, the decimal point for the 10 is here, isn't it? The reason we have to move that over to the right is because, it's because to turn 0 0.25 into 25, we have to multiply by something. So what we're actually doing is this. What 0 point, 0 0.25 times what gives me 25? Zero point two five times what gives twenty five? Yeah, write this down, both everybody. Write this down. Zero point two five times what gives twenty five? What is it? Think about it. Everyone, think about it. Okay. No, 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 no. I just want everybody to get it. Everybody. Everybody get this. 0 0.25 times what gives 25. What do you think? Times 100. Isn't it? Is that, not, is that not obvious? Like, it's like 25 cents. Times 100 is... Okay. So if I have a fraction, I multiply the bottom... If I multiply the bottom by a, by a number, I, I must do what to the top to keep it the same? Same number, good. So what's 10 times 100? Good, right. So that's what we're doing. When we move this decimal point two spots to the right, we must move this one two spots to the right also and put in two zeros. And so we should have 25 into 1,000. Make sense? 
Now it le- we'll probably get the correct answer of 40. Because we the correct answer is 40. There's 40 quarters and $10. We all agreed on that at the beginning, right? But we're just doing this exercise to understand why we move the decimal points the way we do, right? Okay, so... So... Um, 25 into 10 won't go. What's 25 into 100? You all agree on that? It's definitely 4. Okay. Take your time now. Write it down. 25 into 0. Does that make sense? 25 into 0 is 0, right? Okay. So what's our answer? What's our answer? And that, that makes sense because it's 40 quarters in a dollar, right? So all of this process makes sense in this, for this example anyway, right? Okay, cool.